Good news, the two newly arriving Acero class fast attack interdiction crafts for the Philippine Navy to be named BRP Ermanagildo Yurong PG-906 and BRP Lawrence Narig PG-907, as they were laid down last Sunday the 19th of November 2023. It will be noted that there is a Spike MLSN LOS missile launcher located behind the superstructure, which can launch Spike N LOS short-range small surface-to-surface -surface missiles, if we are not mistaken in the Philippine Navy for six which are small ships that have launchers for Spike N LOS short-range missiles surface-to-surface -surface missiles, because the Philippine Navy the small ships currently have four ships armed with Spike N LOS short-range missiles, and increased now so became six. The Spike N LOS is a multi-purpose, electro-optical, infrared missile system. Its advanced rocket motor gives it the ability to reach ranges up to 32 kilometers, but the Spike N LOS missiles in the Philippine Navy are a short range. It will only reach 25 kilometers. 25 kilometers is a long way away. Operators can integrate Spike N LOS on ground aviation or maritime platforms, while using its standoff capability to strike remote or geographically secret targets without line of sight. The N-LOS spike missiles were developed through a collaboration between Lockheed Martin and Rafael Advanced Defense Systems Limited to offer the weapon system to U.S. customers. Today, this battle-proven, Long-range precision strike system is in service with U.S. forces and six international nations. The Philippine Navy successfully test-fired the first spike short-range surface-to-surface missile from a gunboat during an exercise at Lamau Point in Bataan. The spike extended range missile fired from a multi-purpose assault craft of the Philippine Navy successfully hit a target 6 kilometers 3.7 miles away on August 9, 2018. This is the first time the Philippine Navy has been able to they fired a missile, and the three remaining fast attack interdiction craft of the Philippine Navy are here in the Philippines to be developed in the new upgrade at the Philippine Navy Naval Yard Cavity and it is scheduled to be delivered in the year 2024.